Hello! In this video today, I would like to show you a few tricks about using the collections and the dynamic groups. So, you can access to the collections clicking on the right button from your mouth on this folder icon. So, when I click here, you go to the collections and also you have the dynamic, dynamic groups in this section up in the right panel. So, there is many times that just say that you need to create a cathedral ring. Uh, you would have to just go to tools, start with the cathedral ring, then from the cathedral ring you should get the profile placer, add it here with the outside curve, mirror, and from here then you will go to surface, sub2, with this, this and this, right? So this will be just the first steps to achieve a cathedral ring. Then you would have to add the, the setting. Then you will have also, in case you the customer is asking you to have some stones on the shoulder, you should add the stones with the uh, extracting diso curve. So this is doable and you can do it pretty quick in matrix hall. So you would have the whole um, uh, parametric in this uh, spot here. But something cool from matrix hall, let me just get rid of that, is that you can have your models already done, right? You can keep them in the collections and you can save all the parametric steps inside that uh, designs. So this allows you to make many, many modifications and do designs very, very quick. Just say that, again, we want to start with the cathedral ring. If I go to my collections, you see here in the collections, there are some that are already coming uh, when you buy Madrid's Gold, but these two folders that says my settings and my shanks, I did these ones. So I will open my shanks. I have just two here just to show you, but I have Cathedral 01 and Cathedral 02. When I select any of those, I have all this data that is telling me uh, when I created, what is the ring rail that I have, the kind of total weight of the diamonds, if I click here, it's telling me more details and the same for the weight. If I click on this uh, I for information, I get the weight on all the different alloys. And also I have a description that it's telling me that this one is a tapered round shank. You can see from the picture that it's a tapered round shank, right? So if I select the other one, on this one again, I have all the data. And also have the description here with Sheng 2.2 millimeters. So at any time, I can add any description. If I want to, because I know that this uh, profile is a squarish, if I want to edit, I can come here and just say edit with Sheng 2.2. This is the information that we have here. I can add a bit more of detail. So I can go and just say square profile with shank 2.2 millimeters. So now I save it and now I have the information here. All right, so this is very, very convenient when you are designing. So let's start with this. I will start, as I said, just say with this one. So I will click on open and now what Matrix Goal is doing is opening this file, but not just the geometry, is also opening all the parametric uh, steps that we did when we craft this, uh, this shank. This means that if I want to make any change, I will be able to make it, right? So I have these gems here. So if I go to the cathedral ring and for whatever reason, I want to have this area it bigger, I just can go like this and everything recalculates. Or if I want to change the finger size to a 9, I can go directly and change it to a 9 and everything recalculates. So at the end of the day, what is important to understand here is that I'm not just having a model that I craft, what I have is a tool to create cathedral rings. All right. Now, if we want to add a setting, instead of going and creating the setting, what I could do is just go to the collections again. Something that I will do first is, what I can do is just select all these, 
I will create a group and I will call it Shank. Okay. So now I can hide it. And now what I will do is just I will go to collections and I have my settings. Here I have different uh, settings. So this one again you have on, on the information on this one I have gems on close. This one let me see bail with diamonds and I see that this is for uh, a princess cat. So probably I will get this. Very important now because I already have all this geometry here. I don't need to open because this would create a new file. I need to import. So I import. And again, I will get all the different uh, steps uh, or all the different, yeah, all the different parametric steps that I did on this file. And I get it all here because I have it in groups. This is important so I can, you know, just look at the parts that I want to see just uh, showing and hiding from here. I can do the same with this one. So I can go and just create a new group and I will call it a princess setting. Princess close setting, okay. So now what I will do is just show the shank. And here what happens that I have when I created this setting, I have this stone related to this finger size. But what I can do is just go to this gem that I created and it says gem on ring rail. The only thing that I need to do is just go to edit and I won't select the ring rail that I have, that is this one. I will select the one that I have from this cathedral. Of course, that now it does this weird behavior, but this is because we have it at the very beginning. The only thing that I need to do where it says location is go to 0 0.5. So I will have it here just in the middle. I click enter. And there we go. So now I have all the control that I need. And look, if I want to bring it up, I can bring it higher. Now everything is parametric and this is the cool thing about Matrix Go. So now where I created this profile, I just need to click on Curve, Profile Placer. The only thing that I need to do is just drop it a bit. Very nice. Now, what else we can play with? Now, because this will be a cathedral and we'll be attaching here, probably we don't need these gems, right? So let me see where I have this. This was a polar array and I will go to edit and instead four, I will go for two. So I have just one in this side, two in this side and two on the other side. And now I will just adapt the cathedral to this setting. Probably I would like to make it thinner from here. But do you see how everything it's adapting to my new shape? All right. So there we go. Here we have a new cathedral ring. If I would like to have gems uh, around this area, I just need to select the gems, go to edit, where it says a start position, I will just move it up and everything recalculates. So the start position is at 0.05. I'll need to do the same on the other side. No, I did the mirror, so I already get it. 
So very easy, I get this, this ring. Now, if I would like to have a round gem here, what I could do is just hide this group and I go back to my collections. And now I will get this one that is, let me see, it's gems on the close. All right, so I like this one. Again, very important, import. So now I will import this one. Again, I, I will do what I did before. So now this gem on ring rail, it's attached to this ring rail. Now I will click on this one. It happens the same that it happened before. I just need to change the location to 0.5 and enter. And this one, it's already, that was, that was luck, but it's adapting quite well to the shank that I had. All right. So now something that you can do is you can hide the shank. I will just get this and create a new group. I will call it setting round okay these prongs that you see here and gems these are here because when i uh, modified the gems on curve i added gems and those wasn't added to the group all right so now i have this shank and i can show it either with this setting or I can show it with this setting all right and still everything everything in this ring is parametric I still will be able to go to the gem on ring rail and just change it and make it smaller or maybe bigger in these days that we have the lab grounds with bigger stones Move this up and now adapt the cathedral ring to the new gem. And there you go. All right, so. This is uh, one of the cool things on Matrix Hall, playing with the collections, the groups, and all the parametric steps allows you to be very, very fast when designing. Because as I said, here you can work with your collections and save many, many models uh, as a starting point. And then the only thing that you need to do is just to start with all the different uh, models, tools that you have saved in your collections and adapted to the, to the customer needs. So that's all for today. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.